Hi there, I'm Monty McKinnon. Thank you for joining me. I recently received an email from Gil Brewster who wanted to know where he could find plans to build the slot in a bridge for his acoustic guitar. This is his first acoustic guitar and he wants to do it right. I totally agree with that. Now, I don't know anywhere on the internet where you can buy plans to make a jig to put the slot in a bridge. I know that I'm pretty sure I, I'm, I'm of this, that Stumac have a jig that's a, an acrylic jig for putting the slot into a bridge. I'm pretty sure of that. Now, I also have my own that I made here, which is a, a duplicate of what my mentor uh, taught me to do. And so I'm going to show you how I did this one, Gil, and you can decide if you want to build your own. It's very easy to do, and you won't have any trouble doing it. This is made up of three layers of, of plywood. The base layer is, is this piece down here, and it's 10 inches square. The second layer that is going on here, that you'll see right in here, that is 5 inches by 10. And on this side over in here, this is about two inches by the 10 inches. You simply screw those in place, allowing enough room for your bridge to fit in there and, and not move. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute. So that's okay that, that you've got those two pieces. Now, the fun part, comes on the top layer, the thinner layer. What you have here where these knobs are, this is about one and three quarters inch in thickness by 10 inches. And this is, actually this is two inches. This is about one and three quarters. And it's it's a little inboard of the 10 inches. This would be uh, much, much less. This is about seven inches. Yeah, about seven inches. So what we do here is we slot both this and this side. You can see those slots there. Let's get that so you can see those real clear. Right up in here. You see these two? I just simply did these in the bandsaw. I just ran it in and then took it out. And I did the same thing on the other side where I've got these here. Now, the benefit of those is that it means that when you're putting something in, you can actually, I don't have a piece of wood I can show you, 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 can, you can adjust it, you can move it. And, and this one we're going to move to make accommodation for the router. On this one, what we're going to do is accommodate the angle of the saddle. And it's offset the saddle at the high treble end to... The front is about five millimeters, which makes this about eight and a half. Yes, it's about a three millimeter offset. And so I'm going to draw a line along here. That line is going right in here, and I'm going to do that with a ruler. And I have marked a center line here. I gave myself a center line, and then I came over to this side, and I marked another line 35 millimeters and on this side 35 millimeters because the depth or the width of the saddle slot is 70 millimeters. So the 35 is in the middle and then I've got 35 over here and 35 over here so I know I've got my 70. Now what I'm going to do is start by putting this piece here on an angle that's going to accommodate the five inches to the eight and a half or the not five inches, five millimeters to the eight and a half millimeters. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the router and I'm going to place the router in here like that. And I'm going to want this thing running exaggerated on an angle like that. Okay, it's not going straight, it's going on an angle. Now, you, it's, it's hard to see this angle on this because it's only a couple of millimeters but it is there. Now what I've done is I've taken this and I've pulled this in to make sure I've got this tight against the router so that the router cannot 
cannot move any which way, can't, can't wiggle, can't move. It can only go one way, and that's back and forth like that. Okay, so we have that all lined up. And when you use this, when you put it into the base to cut your, cut your wood, you've got your, your piece sitting in here. And I think I can demonstrate. I want to hold this with these two scrap pieces of wood. They're just little triangles. It just come to a point. And I simply put that in there. Put that in there. And we're good to go. Okay, so that's not moving anywhere. That's, that's held in place. Now, I have a center line on the saddle. I line it up with the center line here. So I know that I'm centered so that this mark on here and this mark is at going to give me my 70 uh, millimeters and it's going to be on an angle. To make sure that I get this center perfect all the time, I have another stop piece here and this is slotted and I just simply slide that in and tighten it down so that for a quick adjustment. I know that when I take the bridge and I just push it in there like that and I've got it tight against that side, I know that it is centered. It, it, it can't go anywhere. It's, it's, it's perfect. So then with the plunge router, what I do is I'll take this thing and I got the lever here. I'll bring it down to the wood like that and I've entered the wood. Now, you've got to think about the depth of it. It's probably three uh, 30 seconds of an inch to, to an eighth of an inch. And once you're in and it's running, you plunge it down, you simply slide it very slowly across the wood and you're done. Take it and lift it. Now, that didn't do what I wanted because it looked like it went down but, but let's leave it like that it's just coming across and then raise it up turn it off let it stop spinning and then take it away and you've got your slot right where you want it that's just a rough one this is a finished one that I've done and I'm going to use that on the next guitar that's another finished one so it's a very simple, straightforward jig. It's, it's not that complicated. I think you can do it. If you can build a guitar, I can tell you right now, you can build this without any trouble. And it's just made out of scrap wood you got in your shop already. So give it a go and let me know. You'll probably come up with something much better than what I have. Don't forget, you don't need these knobs. You can just put screws down there. Again, these are slotted on the side and they come in and out. And the purpose of this is simply to stop the router at the 70 or at the 35 millimeter mark on the one side and the 35 millimeter mark here and here so that it, it, it just doesn't keep on going. So it's all good. There you go. That's the way we do it. And thank you for your question. Now, if you have questions about your acoustic build, by all means, if you want to know something about some of the jigs that I use, by all means, write me and I'll, I'll address your question on the channel. So thank you for that, uh, Gil. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.